So here's our second video on inequalities. Now, I'm not going to go through everything here again, so it's the same as the last video, but it's still relevant, so that's why I've kept it here. Uh, it's just going to be a second example question, pretty similar to the last one. Okay, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. Uh, I'll scroll down a little bit. So here's our question here. They're asking us to solve this, uh, and the quadratic is x squared plus x minus 12 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so if you remember the steps, the first step is going to be to let x squared plus x minus 12 equal to zero. Sorry, I'm not sure why I did that. such a big gap there. Um, and then we're going to have to solve this. So I will go in, so then, sorry, step two would be to solve. I guess I'll change color, uh, red. So I'm going to factorize this, x equal to zero. So it's going to be x and x is going to be plus four and minus three. Uh, and that means that x is going to be equal to minus 4 or x is equal to 3. Okay, so those are our two answers. So now we need to sketch it. So step 3 is just a sketch. And it's going to be a, a plus x squared. So that means it's going to be a u. And it's going to hit the x-axis at minus 4 and a 3. So I'll do this in blue. So minus four and three so again it's just a rough sketch it doesn't have to be that accurate at all it's more just to get your general shape um okay so sketch and then the last step i'll do in i don't know dark blue four is to check your og question yeah so og being original again so the question is asking us where is this graph x squared plus x minus 12 greater than or equal to zero. Again, greater than or equal to zero means above the x-axis. So where is this curve above the x-axis? And the answer here is anyway, anywhere here. Yeah, so if you take any of these values here, any of these x values, x is gonna be below the x-axis. All of these x values out here, from here onwards, are gonna be above the x-axis because the curve goes above the x-axis there, okay? So then our answer then, I'll go uh, green, you're going to look at these and then look at this um, to get it. So the answer, it's going to be whenever x is less than minus 4. So remember, that's going to be minus 4. That's going to be 3 because they're the roots. So it's whenever x is less than minus 4. And then on this side, it's going to be wherever x is greater than 3. And there are answers, okay? So you might notice it's a little bit different than the last answer. So the last answer was kind of, you could all write the whole thing on one line. So that only works when you're getting an interval, say, in between two numbers, yeah? But when it's two kind of, um, one going this side and one going the other way, then you have to write it as two separate lines. So there is a way to write it as one line. <clears throat> Excuse me. There is a way to write it all on one line, but it's not very it's not very good. You shouldn't do it basically. It's much makes much more sense to think x is less than minus four and x is greater than three. Uh write it like this basically is the definitely the way to do it. So hopefully that made sense. That's another just quick uh example. So it's worth to show you the two options where if you got an answer like this or in the last question you could write it all on one line where you're getting in, an interval in between. Um but yeah, it's the same method for every single question anyway, so I'm not gonna do any more. Uh, hopefully you guys found that informative and we'll see you in the next video we're going to look at give me one second we're going to look at discriminant problems okay so it's going to be more quadratic inequalities they're going to be a little bit harder so these are yeah they're just going to get harder again so we'll see you next time